numerous officers and medical immediately responded to the area and officers immediately made entry. They did locate one individual who we believe to be the suspect inside. Uh, at this point in time, the investigation is in the very initial stages, but I can tell you that uh, we have 18 injured and five deceased. That number is subject to change as the investigation continues. Uh, we had numerous people transported to multiple local hospitals via ambulance and police cruisers. Uh, the hospitals are helping us to notify family of the injured uh, to let them know. The fire department was extremely active in uh, this call, so I'll have their PIO speak to you guys here in just a minute. We will be having a news conference at 8 a.m. at the Police Operations Center later this morning, and hopefully I'll be able to give everybody some more information at that point in time. What questions do you guys have? You're welcome to ask. I don't know if I have an answer for you yet. I can also tell you that the FBI is already on scene and assisting. How is the suspect stopped? Was he stopped by a police officer? Did he or she give up? How did it end? Uh, that's still part of the investigation. Can you the confirm the time and the, the name of the club? Uh, yes, yeah, so um, 1157 p.m. Uh, is when we got the call. We did get numerous um, calls on this. Um, and the name of the club is Club Q. Captain Spondio may be able to specify more, but can you give us an idea of the level of injury of the 18 survivors of the shooting? Are, are half of them critical or all of them critical? Or do we know? Um, it varies. Uh, I only know of uh, some of them, again, because they went to multiple different hospitals. Uh, medicals first at every hospital is to treat them, um, but we do have officers at every hospital uh, with all of the victims. Where is the suspect right now? Uh, the suspect is being treated at a local hospital. So the suspect was injured as well? Correct. By your officers or by patrons who maybe took him or her down? Uh, that's still part of the investigation. Okay. Serious injuries? How would you describe his or her injuries? I don't have that information. Was the club about to close? Was this closing time, 1158, 12, or were they open later than that? I don't know. Um, normally, closing time in uh, Carter Springs would be 2 a.m., but I don't know for this specific club. Could you kind of take us through what's going to happen at least for the next sort of 24 hours here and, and, and beyond as best you can? I know it's early, but give us No, absolutely. Thanks forward. for that question. Um, so moving forward, uh, we have numerous uh, homicide detectives on scene. They'll be processing the scene. Any vehicle uh, that is um, in the scene will have to remain uh, until that is fully processed. This scene is going to take some time um, to get through, so we will be here for many, many hours um, to come. I'm sure there are a lot of family members or friends who are wondering if some of their relatives or friends were here, is there a way for them to reach out to you or anybody else to find out about the status of their loved ones? Uh, so anybody that we can, they are having, um, with the hospital's help, notify those individuals. Um, most of the parties uh, who were here and uninjured have um, already been reunified with uh, their loved ones. Uh, they can absolutely call the Carter Springs Police Department if uh, they aren't able to find their loved one, and we will work with them to uh, hopefully reunify with them, and hopefully they have been um, was uninjured. This, was this gang-related? Was it a hate crime, or what sort of is this? Uh, that would go to motive, and then all of that is still part of the investigation. Can you give us an idea of... Was it a rifle? Was it a handgun? Was it a revolver? Can you give us an idea of what kind of weapon? I can tell you firearm was involved, but I can't uh, at this point in time tell you exactly what type of firearms were involved. Just to be clear, has the suspect been arrested and charged at this point or is just being treated at the hospital? So in Colorado, um, 
charged would be through an arrest warrant or a probable cause affidavit. Um, at this point in time, um, the suspect um, is being treated, uh, but is in custody. And what's going to happen to that person? They just once they're released from the hospital, they're going to go to straight to jail after that. Uh, it w will just depend um, a lot on uh, what the investigation shows, and then. Um, extent of injuries as we move forward. Do you have surveillance video of what happened from inside the club? That will be part of the investigation. Is um, We would ask if anybody has a cell phone video or um, a car is driving by on the road and has dash cam video to please call the police department. Uh, we are very interested in that information. Additionally, if you were a witness and weren't interviewed already by an officer, please call the police department um, so that we can speak to you and get your statement about what happened this evening. So Was it a single shooter? That'll be part of the investigation. Um, has the families of the five deceased have been notified or it's still in the process? It's still in the process. Sunday, not a big commuter day, but should Academy, should people expect the Academy to be closed through tomorrow? Do you know how long this is going to last? Uh, I don't have an exact time for how long Academy will be closed, but I would say avoid the area um, uh, tomorrow morning as you go. Any rough estimate on how busy the club was or an approximate number? I don't have any of that. Okay. Do we know how many officers are on scene or how many units were called out or anything like that? Uh, there were officers when I looked, um, I believe, that responded from every um, patrol division in Carter Springs. So we have four patrol divisions um, that cover the very large city and uh, patrol officers from every division responded. At the uh, um, news conference at 8, I'll be able to give you those exact numbers. Do you know which hospitals the uh, injured and, uh, have been sent to? I do, but it's not something that uh, we'll share at this time. Tell us whether any of your officers are on any kind of leave as a result of their actions here tonight. Uh, that's too early for that at this point. But this was not an officer-involved shooting. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um,